This is a painting of the Biscayne tree that Dave and I have been working on for three years or so. And um, it actually originated as an idea for a Lewis and Clark kind of idea motif around the McBain tree. Um, unfortunately, I did a lot of studying about Lewis and Clark, and uh, you know they didn't. Have you have you done a lot of studying yes, on Lewis yes, and Clark, yeah. like the, the, his slave work that he that Clark sold later because he was he was acting bitter. Yeah, yeah. So he sold them to a, a more brutal slave owner, and like. Yeah. You know, Sacagawea's son, they named Pompey because it was, at the time, you would name the slaves babies after Roman emperors. And so they named him Pompey, and it's like their pet. And, and Clark kept him and, and put him through education and yeah. stuff, but very strange. Yeah. And, and, then, and then Lewis dies in a very, very weird way. Yeah, you know, he's bleeding to death from his stomach all night in this strange tavern in Tennessee or something like that. Nice. So the more yeah. I started about these guys, yeah. I was like, I don't know. And then like, was it really manifest destiny, or is this a military operation where they're like going west to later conquer? Yeah. And then Mary Lowe Lewis becomes in charge of the St. Louis area territorial. Yeah. Jefferson Barracks, and that's where we ran all of our Indian removal stuff out of. Yeah. So, so we switched. So we switched. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> switched because, like, a lot, a lot of the times when we're, we're down in this area, we don't think about the people that lived here yeah. way before. And so, uh, uh, in, here we just have we had the McBain tree, and we've got uh, you know some car some car puddles that were there, and we've got uh, our, our, our big page. And, and Jim, you were a little bit right when you were talking about how all the colors were grayed out. And it, it, we painted this the year of the COVID. Yes. So it was very, you know, but adding more color and doing layer after layer really kind of brings out that, that fall vibe to it. So anyway, We've got our, our McBain tree here, and in the background of the sky through the wind, we have this landscape. And the landscape is actually um, an overhead view. You probably can't see this, but if, if we were taking this and we were floating above it, then we would see the Missouri River in the background kind of forking off and coming back together in the background. And then we have all of these groves. We've got um, some flood walls going through here. And if we're going down this road, then right here is where the McBain tree is. Oh, okay. And then if we go down here, then this is actually the MKT trail that comes through here, and that's Catfish Cave. So ah, very good. In there. Um, and uh, and then we have uh, the Osage warrior that is hidden in the painting that kind of takes up this left half. And you can see. His, his face through here, and then his arrow bag, his arm, and his spear that he's holding, and it is, uh, his feet kind of come down as the follow his face after this George Catlin uh, illustration of a Osage warrior named Ali. And uh, there you go. Great.